So quite easy to do, just the screwdriver supplied with the quad, or as you I'm sure you've got a load of these screwdrivers now anyway, uh, any one will do, so long as you can get the screw out. There we go. There we go, we simply pop the prop off, slide this out through. There we go. You can see the bush there. And then just using the screwdriver again, let me just gently tease these out. Here we go. Another technique for getting the bushes out is if you just slide the gear back in, but just put a little bit of pressure either down or up, wherever you like, and just push. So there, then you're not wrenching the plastic here. So it might be a better way of doing it. And just remove the gear shaft and just do the same the other way around. And then we just simply get the bearing and it just pops back in. And there we go. And you can feel that's not going to move. And again, back in with the new bearing. There we go. Simply. I've actually measured the bushing and I've actually measured the bearings. They're both exactly the same size. But I'm noticing the bearings are quite loose in here. Literally just come out as quick as anything. Um, so there's a possibility they could just slide up the shaft. They should spin quite happily, obviously, but I just think with them being in the plastic and perhaps the bearing's not working, perhaps it's just spinning round, in which case it could make this hot or cause all sorts of problems, I think. So what I'm gonna do, with the sharp edge of a screwdriver, just gonna push the plastic just a little tiny bit where it's quite close to the edge. Just push it over, just to hold that bearing. So the bearing's working and it's not spinning around in this plastic. It's only just tiny little dots really. There we go. Hopefully that'll hold. There we go, and that's not moving now. Where before it just comes in and out. I like that. See, I do that round all of them. They're not all doing it, but if they do do it, that's the way to do it. That's the way to handle it. Okay, and you simply slide this back in. around so you can see where the hole is and there we go and then line up your holes and I know from the camera angle you probably won't be able to see this but certainly from my angle I can actually see right the way through 